All right. <clears throat> Let me see. All right. I guess I'll just go for it. Uh, what's up, everyone? Logan is back with me yet again. Ka chow. So today we're going to be doing this whole floor. We already sheeted it and framed it. So we're going to be snapping it out today. We just got to go around the full perimeter. The little bump out here, the closet and the bathroom. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. It's about eight or 900 square feet. So much smaller than the lower footprint of the house. But it's a great opportunity to uh, go over everything. Nice. So this is basically where we want to pull our control line. So this is kind of how we're going to check where this, or rather how this thing is square. So I want to go right there. Five and a half from there. We want to go five and a half from there. So we're going to three, four, five this, which do you know the general concept of three, four, five? Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Exactly. So let's draw it out for the boys on the tube. <laughs> Basically for a right triangle, let's say that is our super awesome right triangle. If this is three and this is four units of measurement, so three feet or three inches or 30 feet or 40 feet, anything, Anything divisible by those, if those are three and that's four, and this is five and they all meet at those points, then this will perfectly be 90 degrees. So we're gonna use that to our advantage to make this floor square. All right, so do me a favor, hold me right on that uh, intersection right there. So I'm gonna go 24, and this will be our four. All right, there's that, keep me there. This one is gonna get an 18, just like that. <clears throat> so if I mark five and a half right there, now we get to see just how square we are, slash if we are square. <clears throat> so I marked 18, 24, so now this dimension will be 30, I think. Because five times six is, yeah, 30. Like it? Yep. All right, right there. Let's snap that line. Beautiful. That's how we're looking right here. So we're overhanging a little bit. Five and seven eighths, which is about three eighths off. So not amazing, but not too horrible. So here's a really easy way to make a quarter in a way that will hardly make any difference. So I move this an eighth inch this way, and then I'm gonna move this end an eighth inch that way. And then that will move us a full quarter, but it's still only an eighth on each side. So now on that crow's foot, that's closer to the edge. Like it? Yep. All right. Beautiful. So now our line is a little bit different because we're skewed a little bit. So go ahead and hold me on our line right there. The intersection? Yep. So now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna mark 19 feet. In an arch, just like that. And then, so here I'll show you a little thing we can do with this. Cause the rise, run, and diagonal basically works the same way to give you a 90 degrees uh, angle. Okay. So we just marked 19 foot there. So I'm gonna go 19 foot run. I know I have a 35 foot tape measure. I don't want to max it out, so I'm going to go 34 foot diagonal because that's our longest dimension. Okay. And then I can click rise. And 28 foot 2 and 3 eighths is yep. what we want to mark. So now, hook me there. So now this is where I mark in 28 foot 2 and 3 eighths. So 
So there's that little crow's foot I just put right there. And now, since we did the math for it, I'm gonna mark 34 foot exactly. Like it? Yep. Much better. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Like I said, we were about five and seven eighths from that spot of the line. And this moved us about three eighths there. So if we're five and seven eighths minus three eighths, now we're five and a half. So since we know that we're now at a good number where we want to be, we're going to snap this in red. Hopefully I have enough chalk in here. I might need to refill it. You use mine. True. I did see that you just refilled yours. All right. All right, so the red line is now our line. And that's why I do red and blue. The red is permanent, the blue is not even close to permanent. So the blue will wash away, the red will be here forever because this stuff works really freaking good. Do me a favor and uh, burn me five and a half on the blue line. Okay, so that is our new line. So basically, if I say he's burning me five and a half, that means he's holding me five and a half on the red line, just or on the blue line, just like that. All right. Are you good? And then I'm, 20 foot is my outside dimension, so I'm gonna subtract 19 foot six and a half. I'll still mark 20 foot, so we can snap that later and cut it. All right, and now let's come all the way to the other side. Mark the same thing, like it. Beautiful. We are now coming through right here. Go ahead and put your finger on it. How are we looking? Pretty good? Beautiful. So now we have two of our, yep, our two kind of controls, or I guess our three actually, because we have this one too, I believe. GoPro is rolling. Here it is. Beautiful. I thought you were going to leave it over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the best 100 foot tape. This DeWalt retractable one. You'll notice there's no crank. Because we don't like to be cranky at work. Pull up our blueprints. Keep it on the phone. Makes it nice and easy. So our overall, from the outside of the bump out, to the outside of the bump out over here, 40 feet exactly. All right, so our bump out goes six inches from the red line. And then we can snap that, we can each just snap that since it's uh, so small. I don't have 40 in that tape, but I do in this tape. So hold me five and a half on the, on the outer line, the bump out line. That's uh, yeah. you're five and a half on the red line. Yeah. Well, nah, nah, that wouldn't give us as much as we have. Uh, like an extra six inches. Yeah. Like it? Yep. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go nine foot inside inside of this bathroom wall. Let's go right there. Awesome, I'm gonna go nine foot and I'm gonna go nine foot five and a half because it's a two by six wall for some plumbing. All right there, like like it. Nine foot, nine foot five and a half, boom. ka chow. Something else I like to do when we're uh, snapping walls is I like to do that, which just shows Exactly. I'm going to mark 14 foot, 8 and a half inches. 20 foot, 8 and a half, right there. And then I need to add 7 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter. Okay, let's come back to like the middle of this sheet. Just kind of the edge of that bump out. Like it? All right, I'm gonna slide you a little bit. Right there, right there. It's camouflaged. All right, let's see if we have enough chalk on our line to get another one out of it. Nope. 
Three foot to the start. Three, three foot four and three quarters. So I'm on that red line. Three foot four, three quarters. All right. Now hold me on this guy. That pencil line right there. Uh, watch out. Let me mark three and a half real quick. All right. Now hold me right there. I'm going six foot eight. And also back three and a half to there. Let me turn this one back on. Oh, that one is still going for 45 minutes. That's going to be fun to edit through. Anyways, okay, we did it. We snapped this whole thing out. It's pretty straightforward. It only took us some time. Oh, about 42 minutes and 52 <laughs> seconds. So anyways, that's the snapping. Hopefully that was in-depth enough to be beneficial. I think we'll probably do plating in another video, just because I think I have enough in this video to make a decent 10 minute video or something. But all that to be said, thanks for watching.